Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to talk about some lessons that I got from 2018. It's wisdom to learn from the past. If you just walk on from the past and you don't pick any lessons from it, you just wasted that. And that's why many people have repeated circles, repeated afflictions, because the Lord really wants us to learn from whatever it is he's putting us through. So my 2018 started really um, from the place of waiting on the Lord. I had just broken up my relationship because I wasn't sure and I just, my God, I, I just felt like I wasn't compatible, compatible with this person and so I broke the relationship or he broke the relationship actually for the first time. Well, so, um, so I had to wait on the Lord, like I really needed to seek the face of the Lord regarding my future and woke up into 2018 with a lot of clarity in my spirit like the lord began to speak to me in ways that he's not done before like god started speaking to me from my heart and i'm not used to that like i'm in my room alone god why can't you just show me a dream or something it's just easier that way but god began to speak to me in the way he wanted to speak to me so that was one lesson i picked from 2018 god is in charge and he does what he wants regardless of how we feel what we think and what we expect because our expectations can just be our expectations for all we know but what god wants to do he'll do it the way he wants to do it because he's in charge so um even in 2019 that's one thing that really led me into not writing too many goals too many this too many that because i just decided to follow what the lord is expecting what the lord desires to do not my expectations not more, not whatever it is that i want i decided to pick one way and i believe that one way will lead to the rest so, so lesson number one trust in the lord's own will his own way his own word not yours just keep your expectations aside and let him be god in your life another lesson that i got was um distraction it is the greatest enemy of growth distraction is the greatest enemy so one thing that i'm very very careful about in 2019 is distractions distractions are the greatest enemy of your growth perceive them detect them and destroy them immediately because they're going to stomp you and keep you down mm -hmm. down number three i learned to trust god and i decree the word of god concerning my life regarding all those dreams that i had dreams of shame i would decree that the lord is the glory within me and is a pillar of fire all about me dreams of disappointment i would declare the word of god regarding my life dreams of death i would decree the lord is my life you know i began to speak the word of god and it always worked so no matter how scary those nightmares were, I learned to trust in the Lord and decree His word and never keep short. So that was one lesson I learned from 2018. Always speak the word of God. If you're not vocal, you will end up local. That is just the truth. If you're not vocal, you will end up a prey. If you do not pray, they say you end up a prey. So it's very important for us to speak the word of God, know the word of God in your heart. Um, David was speaking, he said, I have hidden your word in my heart so that I will not sin against you. It's like a, it's a consequential effect of hiding the word of God in your heart. You know when to speak it, you know how to speak it, you know how to decree it. So it's very, very important that we keep the word of God in our heart this year. Just walk out and eat, you know, just it's little things like making little decisions as opposed to opening my phone and playing a game. Why don't I just look at the Bible app? you know so those little little decisions will lead to your growth and your overall change in 2019 um so that was one lesson i learned to trust in the lord wholeheartedly and 2018 was also a year of deliverance and that deliverance came out of mercy so it's very important for us to be led by the spirit of god that's one thing i picked from 2018 like be seriously led by the spirit of god like my family my siblings and i we've Academically, there's just been a battle. I don't know why. We really don't know why the enemy is attacking our education. Like every time we go to school, sometimes some people are not serious with school, they begin to fail in school. And once they pick up and we begin to pray about it, and the Lord begins to minister wisdom to them, and they begin to pick up in school, finances will be tied. So I wasn't sure why there was so much battle regarding our education, and we picked up the spirit of delay. Now, as the enemy continues to delay our education, it delays other things in our lives. And once the enemy continuously delays one's destiny, it ultimately leads to death. People say delay is not denial, um, it will come, it will come. There's nothing like that. In the real life, delay can be denial, delay can be death. 
you know delay is a bad thing and i've experienced delay i hate it so much when i went through the last phase of it i told the lord that give me an anointing to bring delay in other people's lives delay is disgusting nobody should ever experience delay it's not of god you know so after all that um delay um the lord really delivered i and my family first my sister graduated from the university the other was studying law graduated from the university my brother left high school and he's been struggling with high school just to tell you how the enemy really attacked um my family in our education um, my sister also passed her um junior exam my little little ones entered boarding school like god just broke a lot of barriers when it comes to education and I'm also perceiving the same for 2019. 2019 is like the harvest of deliverance for me. And I believe it's for all the you that's watching me as well. It's a harvest of deliverance. 2019, I like the number nine behind it because it's a month of deliverance. It's a month to deliver a child, to deliver a blessing. Something you've been straining and working for for so long. It is yet to bring it forth and enjoy its benefits. That's what I see 2019 as. As something that you're going to deliver and you're going to enjoy the benefits but you have to be sensitive in the spirit you have to be alert and you have to be consistent and the lord told me something is give yourself to fasting and the word of god give you you need to be super alert in the spirit you give yourself to fasting and the word of god continuously and the lord has been the lord has been helping me in that area just give yourself to fasting and the word of god that's it growth good 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 put the flesh under and run the race that has been set before us so i believe the lord will really carry us through 2019 and it's going to be an amazing year it's going to be a very green year and there's nothing the devil can do about that so um as you're watching me right now i just pray that the lord will give you an amazing year a green year a beautiful year a year of growth a year of growth that's why i see green a year of growth a year of deliverance and a year to enjoy the benefits of deliverance in great peace in jesus name amen that lights my way everyone's asking how i'm smiling waiting to make me smile lord you've given me my freedom so i will sing and testify so in the name of jesus oh yeah